I am what is known as a professional vlogger. You may be wondering what the prerequisites are in case you want to get into this line of work. The only prerequisite I know of is that you were dropped on your head as a child. It takes zero skill or talent to be me. But I still push on and you ask for my advice. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we're on the Canon R, lent to us by Camera Canada, of course. With the Young Nuo, 85mm 21.8. Midway through the episode, we're gonna switch to the Sony A7S III with 90mm macro lens. Is it better? Sharper? More pleasing? Less dynamic? Less tone? Hmm. Hello, good sir. I need your professional knowledge on camera and cinematic look. You came to the right place. I am a comedian trying to record all my acts so I can analyze what makes people laugh and what not. So currently I'm using the Olympus EM-10 Mark II. Oh God. With the, oh, Panasonic 25 1.7, the little plastic piece of Tony shit. But I feel like the low light, lack of dynamic range makes me look unprofessional. It does, it would. So would your jokes about your mom's underwear. I've heard your set. Can you tell me what kind of upgrade do you recommend? My budget is 800 euros. What the hell is that gonna buy you? It won't even buy you your current gear, you piece of shit. Why are you giving me less money than you started off with? I consider buying GH5 or Olympus EM-1 II in order to use my current lens selection, which you already hate. Let's be real. Okay, so you're a comedian. You're a Micro Four Loser comedian. You can't go GH5, obviously. It's not gonna track your ass. You got lights in your comedic room, wherever you are. I know what those are called, trust me. And it's gonna be pulsing like crazy. You can't go Panasonic ever. They're done. They're done in my life, and they should be done in yours. Olympus EM-1 II, fantastic. fan frickin tastic Go with it, if you can find it. I can only speak for the Olympus EM-1 III but I hear it's very similar, so if you have log in EM-1-2, then you got some dynamic range. It's respectable. Autofocus as well. In low light, better than Canon R6 did. We all saw it. We all saw the crushing. So, boom, you answered your own question. Thanks for wasting all our time. I have a hiking channel and vlog all my hikes. I used to use an X3000. What do you mean used to? You upgrade to that. That's my advice for you. But the Circa... 1998 waterproof case that comes with the camera renders it useless in inclemental weather. The thing's weather sealed, it's splash proof. Just don't dunk it. What are you gonna vlog in the ocean underwater? I hope a crab eats you and a jellyfish stings your leg. Yeah, that's right. Was that your question? The sound is also non existent once in the case. Yeah, I ruined a whole video once. I was in the ocean, actually vlogging in the ocean in Thailand. And I had the case, but I opened the front, but there was just this rattling sound. The whole video was ruined. I still posted it. I have no standards. I'm a vlogger. Was that your question? I've since switched to an Osmo Action, and while I prefer it over the GoPro line, it's still shit image quality stabilization compared to the X3000. Have any other options for me? I'd like to stay under the 1200 mark. Why can't Sony get their shit together and just take over the action cam world? They almost did, once. There's nothing almost about it. They did, once, and they'll do it never again. That's your cam, there's nothing better. I wish there was, that's what this whole journey is. What's better than an X3000? Nothing. You can't. DJI action, it's worse. You're not in focus. Although the Sony will lose you eventually. I wish there was an upgrade. The GoPro's unreliable. All the little DJI action Osmo things, those are freaky. I got one on the way, a new thing you haven't even heard of. Maybe I've already released the video. There's a timeline on it. Is that thing good enough? Probably not. Ah, uh, just stick with the X3000, get another one. You answered your own question as well. You're fired. Kuwait is very hot country. Heat reach above 50 degrees in summer. What is best camera for this heat? I want to avoid overheat while shooting my videos. Any suggestions? Could you be any more basic? You just want any camera that doesn't overheat? Like most cameras don't. You're fine. Go with a camcorder. The, they last in the desert. Marcus Pix knows it. He knows it. He uses them. In Las Vegas heat with the sun blasting. They're designed. They're huge and shit. Tiny sensors and a huge body. 
dissipate heat and reminds me of Panasonic. You try to lift one of those things, good luck. Hi, what do you recommend for travel photography, videography, and family stuff? I mostly shoot small clips and take snapshots. I'm currently debating between the Nikon Z50 with bullshit kit lenses and a 35 mm 21.8 with the FTZ adapter and M62 kit lens bullshits, 32 mil, 1.4. Just between those, if it's me, I'm not excited. The Z50 has a flip downer that annoys me, but you're taking photos, like you're not even in the shot, just your family. You're like advertising your family for a better husband. I get it. So the flippy, that's not gonna bother you. Not much battery life on either of those. That hurts. The adapter, that why complicate your life? There's a Z lens, 35 mil 1.8. Why do you gotta adapt shit? What did you find one in a gutter? You have it? Oh, maybe I'll buy into Nikon. Nikon's going out of business in like three months, max. Almost everyone is recommending the Canon, but seeing the real world reviews, Z50 looks so much sharper and cleaner, but Canon has better autofocus, at least on paper. No. What do you recommend? It's true. The image is probably gonna look better. The Z50 has better technology. 120 frames per second in 1080p with autofocus compared to 720p. Oh, manual focus, it's hard. The Z50 is the better camera, but I don't trust them to be in business long enough to deliver the camera to you. That's the problem. The thing with Canon is like their specs suck, but then you get a good image anyway. Like it doesn't matter. So I don't know, I kind of lean Canon with the Sigma Trio type lenses. And the 32 mil 1.4 is a decent lens. I might get the Sigma version of that anyway. 33 mil or 30 mil. What's a good cheap and sharp wide angle lens for my a7 II? I'm shooting real estate. Thank you, Juice Man. Sharp wide angle. See, I don't care about sharpness, so it's not like I, I've hunted for it. 20 mil 1.8 is probably not wide enough. The 14 mil 1.8, there's your lens if you have the cash for it. Maybe even, I don't know if that Samyang 14 mil 2.8 is sharp, I doubt it. Lawa probably has something. The 15 mil Tony 2 was pretty sharp. Not super sharp. You could stop it down for sharpness. It's heavy though. The Tamron 17 to 28 is pretty sharp. I don't know. Wide angle, like the G Master. You didn't give me a budget or weight limit. Get use the G Master 16 to 35. Maybe the Sigma 14 to 24. Tony 2.8. There's so many options. Wow. Look at you. Let us switch to the Sony system of life. Are things going to get better? Tone it worse. Sharpness better. Tightened in a bit. <laughs> oh, little Sony. The macro lens. You can't beat that thing. I gotta take it outside again, try to get some more insect slow-mo. Trust me, that's good content. Was that your question? So we're moving on from that last freak with the wide angle shit. I gave you like 15 options. Quick question. Have you used the Olympus Zuiko 9 to 18? Briefly in Henry's, just in the store. It wasn't magic. It's really not that wide, a nine to 18. Like you're almost at your 12 mil Tony two, which is a fantastic lens. Sure, you get some zoom range, but the aperture, Tony four to 5.6, you just, you get zero separation. So you might as well be on a GoPro at that point. It's basically an overpriced kit lens, in my opinion. It's just a bit wider than normal. It's a terrible looking lens. I've debated it just because, oh, it's fun to have a wide angle. It's not, it's a terrible lens. Don't ever get it. I'm looking for a lens that can pretty much just live on my G9. Just throw that thing in the trash like I did. Much like, oh, currently I'm pretty happy with my Panasonic 14 mil. You already got it. That thing's tiny. The 14 mil, I debated getting that. The 2.5, probably best lens ever made but sometimes it just isn't wide enough. I despise fisheye lenses. I really hate that look and I'm not into re-distorting an image to make it appear straight. There's not much wide options. The Leica 8 to 18, kind of heavy, 2.8 to four, expensive. The Lawa, that's fun. That's a good one. Just, you have to be so careful with the way you walk. 
because the corners just wave at you. There's not a lot. The Panasonic 7 to 14, but it's a Tony 4. Disgusting. The Tony 4 to 5.6 rating on the Olympus lens won't make it the brightest lens on the block, but it should be bright enough for my little shit show. You'd think, but it won't be. I record things and stuff and sometimes find that I just need a wider view. What the hell was that? Things and stuff in a shit show? Now let's all subscribe to that guy. So good choice? Maybe not so good. It sucks. You're gonna be unhappy with it. Zero magic. You might as well just wait for that Olympus 8 to 25, Tony 4. It's not very fun, but it's a stupid lens. I don't know, wide angle, micro four thirds, they don't mix. They're not good. I would get the Leica 8 to 18, then you stand a chance at some dignity, but not much. The autofocus isn't reliable, and it does wave. We need to talk audio. That lav mic is the size of a gerbil. But seriously, that was a joke. Looking for a wireless setup to go to my cripple hammer. Seriously? What have you found to be the best? Oh, this is cringe. It's cringe town. Yes, my lav mic wind muff is ridiculous and stupid. It looks like a clown's pom-pom. But do you hear wind outside when I vlog? No, you don't, do you? Yeah, it's worth looking like a criminal, isn't it? No wind in your ears. I love my audience, and I think of you only. What was your question? You want a wireless mic? Do you want thyroid aids? I've been over this. Beaming radiation. Unless you have the Keyling pendant to save you. I've been very happy with the Tascam DR10L and its own lav mic. You just get a little wind muff on it and then you're good to go. You have to sync it after. That's the only pain in the ass. But the wireless mics, not only do you have to worry about batteries on both modules possibly running out, interference sometimes, you turn your back once on a bitch. That, and then there's the constant Bluetooth radiation poisoning at you. Just look it up. There's studies proving it. I get so much cringe on that one Rode wireless video. It's like, this guy's serious? <laughs> I hold two cell phones to my head while I sleep. Good luck with the tumors in your baby. Hey, dear. I started watching almost all your videos these days. Almost. Looks like someone has some catching up to do. And I really like your humor. Wish you the best for you. I wanted to know your opinion. I want to buy my first mirrorless full frame camera and lens. I'm not experienced with the technical aspect of the camera. My main goal is to record 4K video, studio head talk, as well as some travel videos. My budget is max $4,000. Could be more or less including a lens. Can you please reply with your suggestions? Thanks in advance. Okay. For you, Fuji. I think, I'm thinking, because Canon, to get 4K, for some reason you want to film this in 4K, even though this isn't, I'm not filming in 4K, who cares about 4K, you up res it, you're good to go. Fuji will give you your 4K, cheaper than most others. Canon, you have to jump up to like, either the M6 II, but not full frame, you have to have the tonne, so can't, we're looking Canon R6 here. That's too much for you, even though it's within your budget. I don't want you to spend that kind of money and be disappointed with heat. The only thing with Fuji is the autofocus can be iffy if you don't keep your subject in a box prison. So if you can do that, I got weird hand motions today. It's hard because there's a, not a mic there inhibiting me, so I don't know why I'm doing weird things. So Fuji X-T4, and then you ask yourself what focal length, travel videos, that's a tough one travel and talking head. You might get the 23 mil 1.4. That could do it. That could be your all encompassing 35 mil equip. Could do that. So XD4, I think you're happy. Uh, you could be happy or just get a Canon R. There you go. Did you want full frame or was that the last dickhead? Oh, it was you. So, so this is bad advice. Still, Fuji XT4 keeps up with most full frames. Your only options would be the Canon EOS R in 1080p, up resing to 4K. I just did a comparison, G9 4K, Canon 1080p. Canon was just as sharp, if not sharper, better in every area, color science, autofocus. It's like 4K is so overrated, and especially you've never made a video in your life. Like, what are you going for 4K for? To future proof? What 
future is that? What future is that? You're eating bagels out of a gutter. You could go Sony a7C, but the stabe sucks. It'd be fine for talking head, but you also want to travel. That's the problem. The camera in here is usually not the best out there. It's a big problem. It's why I'm alive. So I don't know, Canon EOS R, 35mm 1.8 for here? That could also, because it's stabilized, do your travel stuff. There you are, affiliate links down below. I heard that you help people with camera questions, so I've decided to upgrade my Canon 200D, but I'm confused about, oh my God, this is so long. Why do you write so much? Low budget short films for YouTube, some paid work, and some street photography. Hybrid camera needed, good autofocus, and IBIS, because I do all these things alone, and I don't have a gimbal or stabilizer. He, okay, he has his own suggestions. Fuji X-T4, good stuff. Panasonic S5, don't do it. Sony a7C, good, terrible stabe, you're right. See, like most of these people who are researching stuff, they know the answers. Like, you know your life better than I do. You've done a bunch of research. You know the flaws of each camera. Like, you know it. A7S III, way above my budget. Yeah, exactly. The best one, can't afford it. Or not willing to put, I don't think I would buy one, even though I love it. If I was starting over, I'd probably just get the X-T4, bang for the buck. Like, that's the best for everything. You can go outside, you can be in here in your mother's living room. You're good to go. A7 IV rumors. We don't even know what it is, so don't even look to that yet. Nikon, Canon, please suggest a camera. Full frame would be better. Under $2,000. Yeah, have fun with that. The Fuji X-T4 sounds like it fits your needs the most. Street photography, paid work. Fits that a lot. Receiving money and filming the money. Just, it has quirks, but you can work around them. Autofocus, eh. But if you manually focus especially, a lot of Fuji lenses have the clutch, makes it pretty easy. That's your best bang all around buck. That's a sentence, trust me. Okay, last question. Hypothetically speaking, of course, you wanna start a channel and vlog, but you have a face for radio and a voice for newsprint, then what? Grow a sack. No one gives a shit about what you look like. You ever seen an ugly person smile? It's still a smile. It still brings joy to your life. No matter how crooked the teeth, no matter how many are missing, no matter what kind of freak wrinkles you got. This brings joy to you. Just smile and be yourself. Get a voice exercise, just throw up a lot. That's my advice to you. Who cares? The ugliest people are online right now making a killing. And that could be you. That could be your ugly ass. And your crispy ass voice sounding like your mom threw up on herself during giving birth to you, which she regretted, by the way. I helped you all so much. Just the joy. It's a bit overwhelming at times, but I just receive it. I receive the gratitude that I've been given these skills that I can pass on to you. And which setup did you prefer today? Sony Color Science versus Canon Color Science. Cheapo lens versus Sony's possibly best lens ever made and best camera versus Canon's cheapest. Are we even seeing a difference? Probably not. Thousands of dollars from Camera Canada and Flatter Santa gifts put towards that. Could have went to an ESR. Oh boy. He would kill me if I ever bought a Canon. I realize that. I won't do it, I promise. I might. I'll leave after you buy it. Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.